All right, you guys. Um, let's take a quick look at something. So uh, some of you guys have been familiar with uh, on the GitHub, I'm sorry, on the Discord, we have something called Skills USA. Um, I told some of you guys about it, um, but basically it's a team of uh, some of your fellow students who are going to go compete in Houston on it for like a game competition. Um, I have made this Discord channel. Um, it's under Intro to Game Spring 2023, which most of you have joined by now. Um, but anyway, this, this is a team of six, and um, they're building a small little prototype. Um, and uh, so I thought about it over spring break, and I... Um, kind of came to the conclusion that what I wanted to do with you guys is um, I want to build basically expansion packs onto this. One, because I think the idea that they came up with is pretty cool, and I'm going to show you that. And so basically today, what we're going to do is I'm going to give you an overview of the project, and then I want each of you to design an expansion level. Um, just like do like a one page overview of like an expansion level um, based on this and um, and then what we're gonna do is um, obviously we have this class and a couple other classes uh, that are all gonna be doing the same thing and so we could choose we'll, we'll probably we'll have all those expansion levels designed but we will um, probably choose a few of them and then we'll build those in this class. Make sense? Any questions? All right. So let me go over this design here. Um, so in general, uh, just a quick overview of this project. Um, basically, you are like this robot and you land on a planet or you are sent to a planet and there's like this base and the base is like offline and you're sent there to figure out why and like fix any issues and then get back to get off get off world that's kind of the the gist of it and while the robot gets there he kind of like sees some stuff that's broken he fixes it and then he realizes that there's kind of something something i guess you could say sinister going on so it's kind of an interesting story, and, and, and you kind of, when you get there, you kind of like learn more. Um, but it's an action-based thing. There's like, um, you can run, you can jump, you can like, I think there's like jump pads, and like, uh, when I show you, start to show you some, some pictures, you can see. But basically, um, when you're on the Skills US, USA tab here, you can literally scale all the way up to the beginning of the conversation and, and learn all about it. Um, We'll show you the main character here. These guys, there, there's the main character. It's this robot. This model is already built by one of the people on this team. And he's running around in this space. Um, Does he have abilities? Or yes. Uh, so if you click on pinned messages in the Discord, there's a ton of pin messages in here. Um, most, all of this has to do with Skills USA, and kind of goes over. You can kind of see our development schedule and who's doing what and how we're building what. And but there is a there's a game script here. Uh, I'll go ahead and click on that uh, with dialogue. This is the dialogue for the entire level. It's written out like a like a movie script, you can read that. Um, now I do believe I have a game design document on here as well. Uh, this is GitHub link. Uh, here's the game design document, it's at the very bottom. This should be updated-ish. Here is a look of the level. Um, and uh, here's kind of a, a prototype of how it looks but you start here and then you go to these different objectives and then eventually you get to this tower and then you 
beam off. Um, here's kind of some reference. Here's the robot. Um, game design document is not finished. Um, and I think these objectives are like not accurate. I could be wrong. Um, let me see. Um, I believe this is accurate, though. It's a platform shooter. Uh, starts slow, but picks up pace after each objective introduces new abilities and obstacles. Um, here we have mechanics, slide, dodge, rifle weapon, breaking wall, boost, jump. Um, and here's some of the stuff. There's turrets, laser traps, rock grinders, stuff like that. Um, let me see. I, there is another document somewhere that has some stuff, so let me jump. Scroll in EMP bomb revenue. Definitely. Let's see the robot. Um, let me see. Asset list. This stuff needs to be pinned. This is a blueprint. It's nothing. Uh, let's see. There is a list of like the objectives for this particular level. I don't know where it's at, but um, let me go back to that game design document. But essentially, um, what I want you guys to do is, like if I'm looking at this objective, you don't have to do it in 3D, but I want you guys to basically give me like your own like <clears throat> objective map. I want you to come up with another thing like this with different checkpoints of things to do, same format. Um, and basically you're gonna go you're gonna go from one checkpoint to another and then eventually have some sort of completion um, uh, so like let me give you an example here so like for this one and again I don't have the list of the objectives here but basically the player like you imagine the game starting they start here um, the player is then instructed by the whoever's talking to them from the spaceship. Um, hey, you know, make your way to the communications center. There's there's a problem. They get to the communications center. They notice that it's offline. Uh, they need to switch the power on. So then they make their way over to the power center. They figure out how to turn the power on but the base is still locked. So then they have to make their way over to the security center to switch the, to unlock, unlock the base. And then they continue to go and go and go until they reach their final objective. So I want you guys to come up with your own scenario, with your own objectives. And yeah. And then I also want like, a top down it doesn't have to look like this it can look like anything really really crude I don't care if you want to get a piece of paper and paper. yeah something like this with like where you label stuff or whatever and then basically like um, you can say like one, two, I mean, you literally could just draw out a map and have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then in text write out what happens at each objective. What's the minimum of objectives and what's the maximum of objectives? I would say minimum objectives, keep it to like 10. 
That or that's sorry. I'm sorry. That's maximum objectives. Um, obviously, you don't. You know. Um, one of the cool things about. Do you guys ever? You guys may not have played this game, but. Do you ever play World Warcraft Three? Was it Warcraft Two? I don't even remember. Let me see. Maybe it was Warcraft 2, man. Let me see. Warcraft. Nah, it might have been. Oh, because I think Warcraft 3 was 3D. Yeah, this was cool. Warcraft 3. You guys have heard of World of Warcraft, right? Has anybody played this game? If, if you guys haven't played this game, I highly recommend you play it. You could pro probably get it on Steam for nothing. It's called. No, this is called Warcraft 3. And basically, um, before World of Warcraft, the Warcraft series was like uh, an RTS, right? Where, for the most part, you would choose a side. You would choose whether you're going to be like orcs or like these humans, basically. It looks like Command and Conquer. Uh, yeah, it's very similar to, to Command and Conquer in the RTS component and basically you would choose a side <clears throat> and then you would um, certain levels each each faction would like build up they would go like chop down trees and gather gold and some other stuff and they would build based off of like the materials that you would mine and gather uh, you would build weapons and forts and stuff like that right and then you would defenses and then you would there was like a big square level and you would go navigate and like fight the different factions right and then they would all kind of grow at the same time and then based on like how much growth the other faction had was basically like how, how hard they were to defeat does that make sense anyway long story short uh Warcraft, I think this is three, was pretty cool because like most RTS games at the time were like, basically it was like maybe like 20 levels, 10 to 20 levels of like, you would start off and there was a big map and like, you would basically just do the same thing over and over again. You would build up your, def your four defenses and weapons, the other side would build up their four defenses and weapons, and then you would battle it out and then somebody would win there was like literally like all rts was like that it was like 10 to 20 levels right um and each time like each level like you would be able to build up you would get new things that you could build up new weapons and stuff like that it was pretty boring but warcraft 3 was really really interesting because they actually like did different things with different levels um and i remember there was this like there's this one level where you started in like this cave and um, you, they just gave you like a couple heroes and you had to like go through the cave and like not die and you encountered other, but there was no like building up forts or any of that component. So they, they were able to kind of switch it up um, and do some different things. And that's kind of what I want you guys to do is try to think about, like, the components of the game. And, yeah, I want there to be objectives and stuff for the robot. Um, but definitely, like, you can also, like, think outside the box. And, um, like, for example, this particular mission, like I said, uh, you know, the robot is sent that to this planet to figure out what's going on with this base and get through the different objectives, turn the base back on, and then, uh, you know, neutralize the threat or whatever, and then get out of there, right? We obviously don't want every single mission to be like that. Like, that would be a pretty boring game if you're doing the same thing over and over. Um, so, um, and, I, and you can read some of this. I would actually highly recommend to read just browse through the script you can kind of see how um how the the script goes that that when the text comes on screen to the player 
um, that gives you kind of a, a good idea. Um, yeah. That's what I got. Anybody got any questions? So, all right, so I have made a folder. Where did I put that folder? Here. Uh, it is called expansions. And I'm gonna stick this in, let's see, on Discord, I'll put it, I'm just gonna put it in general. Folder for expansions. Enter. And I'm going to pin this. So everybody click on that. And what I want you to do is you should be able to go in there in this expansions folder. Right click, go to Google Documents. Whoops. Or go to New and make a new document. So make a new document in there, and then I want you to title that document. That title is gonna be, you can just make it your name for now, but eventually you'll title that document like the name of your expansion level, or whatever. Make sense? Do you guys have ac access to create documents in there? Is that working? Oh, it's a sign in. So, what I'll do is I'll make a template. Uh, so, let's do new Google Documents. Create a shared folder. I already created a shared folder. What's the issue here? Blank document. Yeah, go for it. All right, so I'm going to call this expansion template. All right. And, uh,. just going to steal that top down All right, so my expansion is going to be called, uh, uh, this is going to be, um, I don't know, planet, uh, zero, planet zero, and this is going to be description, um, uh, find the energy source and I spell neutralize 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 it don't be messing with my document here uh, so that's fine so then I have my top down here and then what I will do is so I'll have Objective one, objective two, right? And then for each objective, I'm going to say, um, player will start and is told.
new Google document, just like this. Great sure. Uh, yeah. Um, so then we'll have our objectives here. And yeah, I just want you to do a top down with some objectives. And then um, I also made a Um, an expansion spreadsheet and in here I just have like your level name and description so here I can say what is it? planet zero and then And then description, uh, what was it? Whatever this was. So this was like a, a quick reference guide kind of thing. And I'll just put my email here too. In case someone needs to get a hold of you. And that's pretty much it. So we're making an expansion to one expansion level? Uh huh. Okay. okay. Yep. So I just want you to do a description, come up with a name, a description, do a top down, and like, then. Like, like, create, your, like create, create another one? Not a top down? Yeah. This is just an example, this is a template. So I should be seeing your documents in here, which is weird. Have you guys created uh, Did you create them in this folder? Oh no. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't see them in here. Um, you may have to share. Did you guys do create and share? I, I didn't. I, I don't see your documents. Am I nuts? I haven't even titled mine yet. <clears throat> well, go ahead and title them and make them your name or something. What's that? Ah, that is interesting. Oh, okay, now they're showing up. I'm stupid. <coughs> yeah, so eventually you will change the name um, to just whatever you, the name of your uh, expansion level is going to be. Any questions? Not yet. Any questions, you guys? All right. All right.